Stephen Baldwin said on Big Brother, if you knew that there was a way that you could save your soul, wouldn't you want to know it? I knew you were going to ask me a question. Let's say there's a hell. Yes. And let's say that maybe you might go there. Wouldn't you want me to tell you how to avoid yes, it? Yes, but you can... And that is kind of like how I feel. Do you know what I mean? But nobody does want to know it. Nobody wants to actually know the truth because the lies are so much more appealing. You don't have to think for yourself if you do it their way. All you've got to do is believe something that's already written down for you, verbatim, no matter how nonsensical it may be. But the thing is, we don't believe it, do we? Because Jesus said, do not trust the people in power who dress up in long robes and pretend to be religious. The Queen, who is the head of the church, drapes herself in diamonds and gold and is exactly, exactly what Jesus in the Bible says do not trust. I am not making this shit up. They make practically everything they say to you up and you swallow it because you've had an education that's been provided by those self same people and that education has forced you to believe that nonsense is truth and truth is nonsense and until each and every one of us gets our thumb out of our asses, our fingers out of our ears, and actually start to fucking learn. We are on a road to death. They are killing our planet. They kill us. We kill us for them every damn day. And every day that we sit here and don't bother doing it, Another couple of dozen innocent souls die on this planet that do not need to. Are you proud of yourself for that? Because I, myself, am disgusted with the whole thing. Keep praying to your God, but he isn't real. There isn't a person who is going to come and save us. We spend a fortune trying to prove that it was real when we don't even listen to what he said. Duh! <laughs> Honestly, I know I'm full of doom and gloom the whole time and bogeys right now. <laughs> but um, it's only because it's the serious bit, yeah? It's the serious bit is the facing up to the crap and to face up to the crap you've got to face up to the crap you have, you cannot say the emperor is naked without pointing at the naked emperor and that is the bit that's going through now but once we've done that the entire world is gonna just prosper immediately you know it's us that they employ to keep us down that's why right now our best option upon leaving school is the military because they need ever more of us because more of us wake up as we go along but what if we just taught the people in the military what was happening to them you know they are being shafted their minds are being fucked with on a daily basis they are force-fed, fight, 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 you know, constantly, posters everywhere, making them hate stuff. They, these people, even if we ended war tomorrow, these people have got to come home and integrate back into society, everyday society, hopefully, a lot of them won't. And most of them, it'll be by their own hand because they can't deal with what they're being asked to do because it goes against human logic.